Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the San Francisco 49ers. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted go, that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breda. 72 yards, and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. We thought they may be a quick strike <laughs> offense this season. That is lightning quick. Not bad for the first drive of the year. That has to actually exceed expectations, doesn't it? Because most teams want to be a quick strike offense. They want to score as quickly as possible and run a defense into submission. What they have to understand is while they got it done there, Long way to go. Don't get discouraged if you have to, have to run a few more plays on your next drive. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Let's go, let's do it. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. Murray going to throw. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's the offensive unit. Max's parents liked him so much, they put an extra X on the end. And they could do that because they saw something before the rest of us. They saw the potential of Max Williams and is coming to realization now in the NFL. A really good tight end with a little bit of speed. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now this throw caught left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Throw left side complete to Isabella. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13, it's a first down. But he's looking sharp right from the get-go here. Tough division, they needed this kind of a start. But I think this is part of where scripting comes in. We always hear about the scripting of plays, how they're going to be called. Everyone dress rehearses their script, and right now they're following into a tick. And for that opening drive, so part of the script's still to come, right, partner? Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got a ways to go with that, but you can tell that they worked on the script the entire week in practice, and it's paying off for them. On second and 11 now, Murray, screen play, Johnson. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. The speedster Dante Pettis back deep to return. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because <laughs> right, I, they weren't right, ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Trent Taylor, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. And a quick look now at the offense for the 49ers. And everyone always tells me the fullback is leaving the game, and then I say, hold on a second. What about Kyle Juszczyk? Two-time Pro Bowler, maybe the best all-around fullback in the game for his ability to block, here we go, here we go. catch, and occasionally run the football inside. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Flushed out right. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 yards, first down, Niners. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Chandler Jones had a nice run in New England, but I think he's found a real home in Arizona with their pressure package and their ability to utilize him in various ways. Standing up as an outside linebacker, he can come off the edge or loop inside in pass rush. And they can also put his hand down on the ground in pass rush situations and let him try and win against offensive tackles. To throw on second and six, Garoppolo. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. It'll be a gain of four, and they're going to face a third down. 
everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 35. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis, but it'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Garoppolo gets this into the hands of Taylor and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there and a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside. And have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. 21, 21. Here we go. To throw on second and six, Garoppolo, blitz coming and down he goes. DJ Swearinger, a sack on the safety blitz. How about that one, the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Here we go, so here the we go. false start hey. certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. We got four. We got four. Back, back, back. Check that. Man. Check that. Here's Garoppolo to throw. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The linebacker, Jordan Hicks, flying in there for the sack. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will make it 10-0 here in the first. Gold may be not blessed with the strongest leg in the league, but he might be the most accurate. Two for two from 50-plus a year ago, and he converts another one here. Yeah, you don't want to play horse with Robbie Gold as a kicker. That guy can maneuver a football with his foot. Now it's Gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On first and 10, here's Murray. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Williams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. 
And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future All-Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. And an alley to run. And he slides to avoid the hit. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Throwing now is Murray. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Going for it all. And that's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. Christian Kirk, 28 yards as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack in the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And they're back with it a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So this drive spans seven plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out, and he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated, because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. No gain on the play there, second down. Well, they had the run for no gain, now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The cards get to him here, he's brought down for a sack. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Open man is Taylor, he's got it. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A good pick up there, 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. A gain of six there on first. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. 
Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Breida. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Garoppolo. That's complete to a speedy wide out good one. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. Able to fight through one tackle. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. The He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. Oh, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that'll be considered a fumble. for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On second and 10, Garoppolo, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag here routes. Go, here go. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. Go, a line go, of scrimmage go. once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Garoppolo again. Now Garoppolo lost the football, and the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but... That's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes a contact, and down he goes. The 49ers get there. D4. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. 
as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Murray with a third and long. He gets it left side to Johnson. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. Jimmy Garoppolo and his offense heading back on the field. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer. And now Garoppolo lost the football. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And instead, they want to throw it off play action. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it's the Rams who are out in front in that one. Todd Gurley has a touchdown run. From there, we're out to check out another game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Jacoby Brissett, five touchdown passes, leading his guys to the victory. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And that matchup all even in their battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. That throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Running from the gun, John 
wants it. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Throwing on first down is Murray. That ball complete to Isabella. Ten more there and another first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Murray now on first down. Flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Quan Alexander able to run him down for a loss of a yard. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. Johnson jostles free. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Murray going to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been out. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Now Mason Crosby on for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. And the 13-year man puts it through, and that will knot us up at 10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Come on, to throw is Garoppolo, and this one's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, and the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Ziggy Ansah picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. The punt team on now as this one's sent away. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game, but that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Now Murray. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. I like workmanlike. I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. From the 40 now on second down. Murray, he gets it to Matthews, complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 44-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They go to Johnson again. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. First down, Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Throwing on third and long. Murray. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Extra point up and good by Crosby, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. 
They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Garoppolo after the fake give to Breda. Eluding the pressure right. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. And he's going to go down. He's stacked back in the 24. Jordan Hicks able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here on this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown. After the turnover, here's Murray. And Connor Murray cannot get away. They drag him down to the end zone for two points. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles, and they change plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. On the return, it's James. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. And what would you say? Is it the offensive line that has caused a lot of this pressure to get back there? That's always the first place that you have to look to see what's going on. But part of it is, it is so difficult to simulate this type of pass rush in practice. Here we go. Because the speed, the ferocity, the quickness, some of the change-ups and, and, and how they get out the quarterback that you may not have seen on film, all of that is different. You can practice it as much as you want to. You can even insert smaller, faster guys at positions. That... There he goes, left side. Touchdown. touchdown here in this opening weekend and once again the 49ers are back out in front so what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run a lengthy one takes him over 200 yards now for the game and i love the fact that to get over 200 it took a pretty good sprint didn't it i mean a lot of times you get one or two yards and oh he's over 200 yards but that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. Here we go, here All right, we go. now what can the Niners do as they face a big two-point conversion here? We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance.
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, miss, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 27, Murray. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple, and his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense. Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them need up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? Garoppolo now over the middle, and he's got Goodwin complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49 of football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Garoppolo gives Zubrida, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. On second down, it's Coleman. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run with Brita. And they've got it in. 
inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. They go down to a knee and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. So the victory here for San Francisco. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man. Yeah, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the 49ers, it wasn't always pretty, but they do eke out the week one victory here by a field goal. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel up to Detroit to take on the Lions. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.